what are the trade winds, how do they relate to the westerlies, and what in the world are the horse latitudes? My name is Andrew and welcome to the Margo Lab channel, where my goal is to make climate science more accessible with fun videos like this one and many others you can find online. Make sure you subscribe to support my efforts in creating more content like this. Alright, so the trade winds are formed as a result of the combination of Hadley cell circulation and the Coriolis effect, which you can learn more about by checking out the full How the Atmosphere Works playlist linked below. Due to the convergence of the lower limbs of the Hadley cells, this equatorward flow of air results in winds that are in turn affected by Earth's rotation. This effect, known as the Coriolis effect, causes these winds to veer away from the equator towards the west. And these westward flowing winds are also referred to as easterly winds, since they originate in the east, but they have come to be known as the trade winds due to having been the driving force behind the early trade routes across the Atlantic. As you might guess, the lower limbs of the feral cells are also associated with winds. However, since the circulation of these cells is towards the poles rather than the equator, they veer to the east rather than the west. And for some reason, these winds were not given a creative name like the trades and are instead referred to as the westerly winds or simply the westerlies. Now, if we were to continue this pattern with the polar cells, would you expect winds associated with them to be easterlies or westerlies? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh, and with all this talk about the winds, I almost forgot about the horse latitudes. So the horse latitudes lie in the subtropical high pressure regions between the Hadley and Farrell cells, where surface winds are not that strong. As a result of this, when ships would find themselves in these latitudes, their progress would slow to a crawl, and after spending weeks without advancing, the crews would result to throwing supplies overboard to lighten their ships with the hopes of improving their chances of being pushed forward by the regionally weak wind. As you might guess, some of those supplies that they threw overboard were, in fact, horses, and that is where the name Horse Latitudes comes from. Similarly, ships would also find themselves in the doldrums between the northern and southern branches of the trade winds, but I bet you can't guess what that region's called. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content that explores creative ways to connect you with the science and the concepts behind it.